So in the last video, we was working with the practical number 1D in that we had created one functionality of generating Fibonacci sales. Now the same program we are trying to update with the second functionality that is called as testing for a prime number. So let us concentrate on this program about testing for a prime number. What do you mean by a prime number? Everybody knows. A number which is only divisible by 1 and itself. The word is quite important. Only divisible by 1 and itself is termed as what your prime number. So I need to write now the program. This is the earlier program. Same concept we are using in the main method. We had asked the choice from the user. If you are not knowing the structure of this program, please look into the earlier video. You will come to know how this main function has been developed. And now I am interested in creating one more function which will be helping me to get the information whether given number is prime or not. So whether given number is prime or not, so it is true and false. So I am interested in returning the value that is a boolean type. So here I am creating the function by saying public boolean and then check prime. And after in check prime, I am trying to provide what we can say the n value. So and now here I need to write a program which will be helping me to display whether given number is prime or not. So I'm using very simple logic, whether the given number is fully divisible by the other number or not, that it understood if the reminder has been zero. So I will be just saying that the boolean return value equal to, I'm by default providing the return value as true. So return value I'm trying to set at what you can say by default as true and in a loop, if any num other number divides the uh, given number apart from one and itself, then I'm trying to return the value as what here false. So let's concentrate how the program is written. I'm using a regular for loop for the same. So I'm just using the for loop by saying for the value of i will be starting from 2 till the value of i is less than n by 2. Why n by 2? Because everybody knows if I'm taking a number as 100, then 100 maximum can be divisible by uh, 50. 50 above 100, so 100 say he fully divided over. तो कोई भी नंबर अपना हाफ ऑफ द नंबर के आगे के नंबर से कभी डिवाइड होता ही नहीं सो आई एम यूजिंग द सेम लॉजिक सो द वैल्यू ऑफ i एम स्टार्टिंग विद ट्रू द वैल्यू ऑफ i इज लेस देन n by 2 एंड द वैल्यू ऑफ i विल बी इंक्रीज बाय 1 नाउ हियर आई एम इंटरेस्टेड इन चेकिंग वेदर द गिवन वैल्यू दैट इज n इज फुल्ली डिविजिबल बाय i और नॉट सो आई एम राइटिंग अ स्मॉल कंडीशन बाय सेइंग इफ द वैल्यू ऑफ n mod i if it is equal to equal to true that is equal to equal to zero if it is equal to equal to zero it means what it means the number is fully divisible by value of i it means somebody else apart from one and itself is fully dividing the given number if it is fully dividing the given number prime number so that the reason i am just providing uh, return value as false and after the for loop i am just trying okay I don't want to run the loop again. So I just break the loop by using the break statement. Already in the classroom we had learned what are the use of break and continue. If you people request, I will create a separate video of understanding what do you mean by break and what do you mean by continue. And here after the for loop, I am just specifying over here, return the return value. So fine, my function has been ready, which says that return value is by default true. Inside a loop, it can be false or otherwise it will not be false. If it is not be false, that means uh, the given number is what a prime number. Now let's go in the main program and try to understand how can I call this particular check prime. So uh, the choice is uh, 1 for Fibonacci, 2 for prime number. So I am adding one more case over here by saying case 2. So the value of choice, if it is 2, then do one thing, ask a number from the user. So I am asking the number from the user by saying console.write, saying enter number. And uh, the value of uh, number will be accepted from the user. So I just write int n equal to int dot parse in the bracket console dot read line. So the value of number will be accepted by us. After the value of number has been accepted by us, then I would like to call the function which will be returning me either true or false that the whether given number is prime or not. So here I am just calling it by saying uh, maybe boolean answer equal to the object name p1 dot function name check prime in the bracket the value of n. 
and now I am interested in writing the if condition by saying if the value of answer equal to equal to true it means console dot write or write line you can decide any one and displaying prime number and else I am writing console dot write line not a prime number right so after this has been done everybody knows we need to have a break statement so I am using the break statement over here because case needs it so there is an error over here n is an error what it says a local variable or a function named n is already been defined ha but our n ko yahan pe declare kiya tha to hum log ek kaam karenge better logic rahega hum log n ko upar hi declare karke lete hain so that will be much more good for us so n equal to 0 fine everything is been set now i would like to run the program would like to check so i run the program i entered some number maybe i am entering the number first of all i need to enter the choice just increase the font size so you can people can easily see what is going on fine it asked me the choice i just say one it asked me how many number in fibonacci series i am providing number of numbers are 10 so fibonacci series get displayed i again run the program it asked me the choice i am providing the choice as 2 it asked me enter the number i am enter number as 49 it says not a prime number i again run the program choice as 2 enter the number as 13 it says 13 is what a prime number so my program is what working in the right direction so please watch the earlier videos to understand the entire structure of this program in the next video we will try to complete the program of vowels further than the program of for each and the program of reverse thanks for watching